In this lecture I'll talk a little bit about the Arduino 9033 IoT since uh, we'll be using it throughout this course and I want to say a few things about its capabilities especially when it comes to its inbuilt sensor and its uh, Wi-Fi capabilities because Wi-Fi is what we're using to connect to Blink into our network. So here I've got an Arduino Nano 33 IoT as you can see it's a very small form factor device especially in compared to an ESP32 or of course to an old Arduino Uno and the form factor of the Arduino Uno so things seem to be shrinking the uh, Arduino Nano 33 IoT has a accelerometer integrated into the device which is another plus another reason why uh, i'm using it in this demonstration will be taking data from the accelerometer in subsequent lectures and sections and using them in our blink application it also has a built-in controllable led this led right here which is connected to digital pin 13 and very importantly it's got a very efficient and fast uh, Wi-Fi module right here. You can have a look at the documentation because that part here is very important. So here is the product page for the Arduino Nano 33 IoT. Scroll down under technical specifications and you'll see that the radio module used on this device is the Ublox Nina W102. It's interesting to know that the Arduino NKR Wi-Fi 1010 also uses the same radio module. There you go. Ublox Nina W102. So this is great because as you'll see later uh, in the next lecture where we'll put together the first Blink sketch, uh, Blink does not have support, at least by name, for the Arduino Nano 33 IoT but it does have support for the Arduino NKR Wi-Fi 1010. So because these two devices use the same radio module, we can actually use the Arduino NKR Wi-Fi 1010 examples in order to work with the Arduino Nano 33 IoT. So this is important. Now, another thing that I wanted to show you is the pin layout for the Arduino Nano. And you can see here, that the built-in LED is connected to digital pin 13. I've also got a tiny breadboard here with another LED just to give us a little bit of additional control options. So another device is quick control. And I have connected this LED to digital pin 2, which is right here. So what I'll do is I'm going to attach my Arduino to my breadboard get it ready for the next lecture we will actually do a little bit of programming all right another thing that i'd like to do in this lecture is to go to the arduino ide and install support both for for the arduino nano 33 iot and for blink so first go on the tools and then on the board and under Arduino SAMD category, you'll find your Arduino Nano 33 IoT and select it. If it's not there, then you'll need to install support for this board. It doesn't, the Arduino ID does not come with built in support for the Arduino Nano. So go under Tools, Board, Boards Manager, and in here, search for Arduino. Nano 33. And then the Arduino, some of the board's uh, collection of libraries will come up. One of those in here is the Arduino Nano 33 IoT, as you can see, and just install it. Uh, I've already got uh, my support for this hardware installed. All right, now close. Then the next thing to do is to install the Blink libraries. So with Arduino Nano already selected, go under Sketch, then Include Library and Manage Libraries. And then search for Blink. Select the latest available version and install it. 
So you do that as well for the ESP32, but we'll do that later. So we'll have support for Blink for both devices. And close. And now you go in the file and you can see that you've got a new set of examples down here for Blink. We are going to be using uh, at least the Wi-Fi example here later on. Okay, so that's about it for now. Let's move on to the next lecture where I'll show you how to install and set up your Blink application on your phone.